Dinosaurs were a successful group of animals that emerged between 240 million and 230 million years ago and came to rule the world until about 66 million years ago, when a giant asteroid slammed into Earth. During that time, dinosaurs evolved from a group of mostly dog and horse-sized creatures into the most enormous beasts that ever existed on land. Some meat-eating dinosaurs shrank over time and evolved into birds. So, in that sense, only the non-avian dinosaurs went extinct. During the roughly 174 million years that dinosaurs existed, the world changed greatly. When dinosaurs first appeared in the Triassic period 251.9 million to 201.3 million years ago, they roamed the supercontinent of Pangaea. But by the time the asteroid hit at the end of the Cretaceous period 145 million to 66 million years ago, the continents were in approximately the same place they are today. Whenever they first appeared, the dinosaurs' unique anatomy set them apart from other animal groups. Dinosaurs are archosaurs, a clade, different groups of animals that share a common ancestor, that includes crocodilians, pterosaurs, dinosaurs and birds. The archosaurs emerged after the end Permian extinction about 252 million years ago. Over time, some archosaurs, including dinosauromorphs, adapted an upright posture, meaning they had legs under their bodies, rather than out to their sides. These evolved into dinosaurs. The differences between the two are small, but dinosaurs' anatomy offered increased benefits, including arms that could move in and out, neck vertebrae that could support stronger muscles than before, and a joint where the thigh bone meets the pelvis, Mr. Brzezat wrote. This unique anatomy helped dinosaurs become successful. Having an upright posture also freed the hands, allowing dinosaurs such as iguanodonts to grasp branches and carnivorous dinosaurs to claw and kill prey, noted Gregory Erickson, a paleobiologist at Florida State University. Ultimately, having free arms allowed gliding then flight in birds. Were dinosaurs fleet of foot or ponderous? What did they eat? Did they hunt or migrate in packs? Did they pair their young? How fast did they grow? Did they get bigger and bigger even into old age? And how old did they get? Did they use horns and frills and spikes in battle, like they do in the movies? Were these unusual anatomical structures part of the business of attracting mates? How did one group of these creatures develop the ability to fly? These new scientists are a diverse bunch, emerging from evolutionary biology, biomechanics, botany, physiology. Their tools include computers, CT scans, X-rays, and electron microscopes. They publish papers with titles like Nostril Position in Dinosaurs and Other Vertebrates and Its Significance for Nasal Function and Caudofemoral Musculature and the Evolution of Theropod Locomotion. We might say they are geekier than the older generation of dinosaur researchers, and then quickly add that we mean this in the